Hello and welcome to an InView training video. Uh, today's going to be a lot of fun, I think. Um, anyway, it's a cool project. You've probably seen this uh, cool water bottles that um, if you've watched some of the recent videos I've done, but we did this uh, presentation a couple times, one at the Printing United show and then one recently at the ISA show. And I just kind of want to take you through what it took to do this. And you'll notice this wrapper has two bottles, but the one that came out of the library was three. And we'll play with the parameters some. We're making it resizable. We'll put the art on. And anyway, like I said, let's just have some fun. So I'm going to jump into InView. And we are going to open the package library up. We're going to go to folding cartons. And in our case, this is an ECMA design. So there's all kinds of different boxes and stuff in here. And, you know, if you hover over these, you can see the designs, but we're going to go to the product integrated cartons and they've got things for cans, bottles. So there's over 1500 designs and it's always growing, but we want to play with these bottle design ones here. And so let's go ahead and jump into this one. You'll see, here's our die line. If I uh, click on this, I can get a quick 3d view so we can see how this wrapper is going to come together. We'll play it back forward. And I'm still in a browser here. I'm not even in the software yet, so it's pretty slick. So let's just go ahead. We can open this in Adobe Illustrator, or we can open it in InView. So we'll start in InView. And you can see here's our wrapper. And it folds together. And what we really want to do is we have a bottle that we're going to throw in here. And that bottle is really going to determine, um, you know, the size of stuff and everything. So let's just go ahead and we'll get the bottle. So I had a graphic artist, our graphic artist designed this up in um, Adobe Max and then output it as a GLB file. So that way we got a 3D file. And so we're just gonna say, okay, and we'll add that to the project. So there it is. You'll see we've got the dimensions turned on. So my dimension lines are here so we can turn them on and off. And we need to change because this isn't the actual diameter and stuff of ours. So we know, let's go to scaling on here. And I measured the bottle. And so let's go ahead and change like the, this has got the length, the height, and the depth. So let's make this 2.35 like our bottle is. But you'll notice it starts scaling everything. And we don't want it to keep all the aspect ratio the same because we also want this to be 2.35. And then our height that we measured was 8.95. All right. So now we've actually got the bottle uh, the size that we want it. So the next thing we want to do is we want to put it on this. There's two pieces down here. There's this top layer and this bottom layer. And we want to put it on this top layer. So I'm going to grab the bottom of the bottle and we're going to stick it on that layer. And we'll just, we'll actually leave it right there because we can rotate it around. We can do what we want with it. So let's grab the bottle and then let's rotate it in the direction that we want. So it looks like this way we'll bring it up. So now we have it at 90 degrees. And then we want it up more here towards the front. So we'll move it to the front and I want it off the edge of this little tab. So I know exactly how far to move it in. And so I'm going to move it that way off the tab and I'll show you how we'll adjust for that in a second. And then the other thing is because this tab is slightly, um, it's slightly bent there, we'll have to make an adjustment for the bottle, but you'll see that in a second. So let's just say, okay, for the moment, and let's come back to our wrapper and let's zoom in here because we want to know the distance of this. And you'll notice there's a, a variable here called TH. So let's grab that TH variable. We'll come back into our bottle and let's figure out which direction. Okay, so it's moving that way. And so let's move it by the TH value. So TH, there's our TH value. And we'll go to the next box. And so now you'll see that that's there. But you'll notice it's still leaning there because this um layer is just slightly bent to accommodate for the other one so let's figure out which direction that's tilting in so first actually let's turn our bottle in the direction that we want it so i think we kind of want it 270 for facing the front and then let's figure out which way that way tilts it that way this way tilts it that way so what we want to do is just go slightly less so let's set that at 89 okay and so now we are nice and um, square on where we want to be so the other thing we might want is a few bottles in here. And so if we come back and we click our array function, we can come in here and we can add more bottles, but you'll notice they're not lining up because our bottle's not the right size, but we'll fix all that in just a minute. So now let's come and we'll look at our die line and let's start to do some resizing. So when we measured our bottle, um, we knew the bottle uh, diameter was 2.35. And we also measured the neck, that's this up here, and so let's look at um, 
that that neck diameter. And by the way, you'll notice like when I started here, I didn't have some of these parameters or I have show hidden on. So if you couldn't see some of the parameters, you have to turn on uh, show hidden. But this is our diameter of our neck right here. So let's change this to uh, what I measured it as. It's 1.35. So that's going to bring that down a little bit. And then let's start adjusting the uh, package height. So I, I took a, some time and I did this earlier, but if we get it to about six inches, you'll see that's getting it kind of close to where we want. You'll notice that, but now the bottle's protruding through the side. And so let's change that angle right there. So I'm gonna grab this and you'll see that's our pH value. So let's make the pH, same thing I played with a little bit earlier. So let's make it 1.2. So if I come back in here and I refresh, now you'll see we got this nice slant bottles inside the wrapper kind of everything is looking the way we want it to look okay and but you know the only thing is we actually want two of these and not three of them so we have a few options what we can do here one is is we've got a full set of cad tools we can highlight these and delete them if we want and i just hit Control delete and um, when you go and refresh you would see that um, that little pieces and the circle out of the top's gone, although the bottle's just sticking through it. Um, but we're gonna want to be able to make this um, adjustable with the width. Oh, one other thing you would end up doing is like right here, this A width, that's why we unhid this value, is now you can see there are our two bottles. So let's refresh it. And you'll notice, oh, there's a third bottle here. We're gonna end up wanting to eventually get rid of that. And we'd like a lot of this to be automated. so. Let's go back, we're gonna undo that, undo that, and let's put in a new variable. So I'm gonna right click here, do new parameter. I'm gonna say N-B-O-T-T-L-E-S, number of bottles. We'll make the minimum two, and we'll make the maximum three, and we'll just say okay. So I've got this new value, I'm gonna put three in here for the moment, and then let's take it and let's move it up to the top. Okay, so all I did was I held control, after I highlighted it and then I arrowed it up or arrowed it down so I can arrow it around by holding control. So now I've got that new variable. I'd like to use that in some spots. So this width that we want, it's two right now. So I'm gonna say the number of bottles, number of bottles, and I'm gonna say minus one and we'll go from there. Okay, so now if I change this to two, see it gets actually the width, but I still got that problem. I got that center stuff in there. So we're going to want to, want to do something with that. So I've got a, some really cool things I can do. If I come in here and I double click on this, see it says visible if, and I can set it to yes, or I can set it to no. But in our case, we want to use our variable and we want to say, let's do it when we want to show it when the number of bottles are equal to three. And I'm going to copy that so I can use it quickly in some other spots. So we'll double click on this, paste it in. There's five parts here, so we'll double click on this, paste it in, double click on this. And so all we're doing is saying, hey, if this variable is three, show these parts. And if the variable isn't three, don't show these parts. All right, so now we're done. So now what do you think is gonna happen when we change this to two? Change it to two, look at that. We lose that other row, change it back to three, and because we set a min and a max too, if we set it to five, nothing happens. If we set it to one, we still get two because we did set a min and a max on that. So now we'll come back and let's refresh here. And so we get what we have. But we also have this other bottle. So, hey, we got a variable now. We'd like to use that variable. So let's go to the array. And instead of putting in three here, let's put in number of bottles. And we'll say, okay. So now you'll notice we got two bottles and we got our wrapper. So when we want to go to three bottles, let's say this is something we're going back and forth on, I can go to three, say okay, I can come back and refresh. But one thing that's gonna happen here is it's going to actually have to create another panel here, and that panel, it doesn't know what to do with it because it's brand new, so it doesn't fold it, it just puts it in straight. But the cool thing is we got tools to fix that, okay? So in our case, what we're gonna do, is we're gonna to come to where we fold um, right in this area and we're going to click on this one right here and so that one is uh, our panel three so let's copy that folding sequence and let's click on the last panel there see it's the new panel nine and let's tell it to fold 
and then we'll just insert that formula and voila. Okay, so we get that bend in there. But you notice something here when I started unfolding and folding, our bottles are kind of stuck out here in space, probably not the way we really want to present, you know, present it. And so what we can come down here and do is the same thing. We have this initially visible. So we can say, you know what? Let's make it visible when we want to make it visible. Okay, and let's come to the step one. And you'll notice in step one, there's a lot of things happening. So let's insert a step below. And let's start moving some of these items up right there. We'll drag that one down here. And same thing, we'll drag that down. Okay. So as we get these different steps down here, now we can actually come up to this step right here and let's insert a step below and let's put our bottle in. So I'm going to go down and click on the bottles and I want to show them. Okay, there they are. And then we can kind of let uh, the rest of our sequence go together. And, um, you know, we can do all kinds of fun stuff with it too. Maybe here before we can insert a step above and maybe we want to rotate around and set a viewpoint, um, insert a viewpoint. And then, you know, let's insert a step below here just to pause. And then maybe on this step here where we're going to put our bottles in, we can put in a, uh, let's insert a viewpoint. And then when it re is all done, it folds all the way up here. Then maybe we want to center everything up. And we'll hold control and we can zoom in and out. I'm just holding like shift. I can go this way. Controls in and out. And um, then nothing, you know, up and down is a normal up and down. So I'm going to insert a, v a step below here and we'll just insert a viewpoint and then one more step just to have a pause after it. So let's go back to the beginning. We'll kind of play through this real quick and you'll see there's our wrapper. Drop our bottles in. Things fold together and we present it. Okay. So now you've kind of, we've had some fun with that. We've used variables. Let's go back to our die line. Let's change this back to two and let's go look at our 3D real quick. Refresh it. There's our two and let's go ahead and save this and throw some graphics on it. So I'm going to go file save as in view file and you can see i've just been playing around with this i'm going to do wrapper and we'll call this four test wrapper four. all right it's saved let's close out of here we'll jump into adobe illustrator this is our current project but we're going to go and bring in our new one so let's open it up and there's our wrapper test four that we just did and so you can kind of see it's blank there's our wrapper Here's our artboard. And so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want a couple of artboards here. One is the, the front. InView's got a really cool tool over here, these InView articles, where I can go and say, hey, let's get a new rear one. I can give it whatever name I want. And so now you'll see I've got two artboards out there. And oops, I just dropped my 3D in there. I didn't want to do that. And um, so one of the things that I might want to do before I do anything else is I might just want to put like a dark color on the inside. So let's go and grab a color. So I'll grab a, some black or close to black, grab my rectangle tool, and let's just drop that over there. Okay, so now you can see inside of our wrapper is black. And then I've got some graphics that were already done ahead of time. So let's just go ahead and grab our graphics. I'm looking on my other monitor here real quick, and I'm going to drag in some art. So I'm just dragging in some artwork and you can see there's our artwork. And as I start to play with this, you'll see in real time what's happening as I move this over the bottle. So let's center it up. So now you can see there it's happening. What's really nice about this is if you're working on logos, you're working on different things, you can get everything kind of centered the way you want. And there you go. So this will sharpen up. And when it's done sharpening up, you can see there we've got some nice packaging presentation. And we can do a few things with it now. So now that we're done, let's go ahead and we'll pop back into InView. So I just click on this little bar over here. I go to Edit and Package Designer. So now that I'm back in Package Designer, I've got my die line. But I've also got um, my 3D package here. And... Um, let's just let's create a quick video out of it so let's go to export to file 
We've got this new 3D uh, MP4 animation. I can pick all kinds of different options for a mobile, uh, but let's just do 1080 right now because it'll put it out pretty quick. And let's just call it Test Wrapper 4, and I'll save it. So you can see the process bar running here right now. After it's done, it'll pop up my player, and then we get our video. So this is something you could incorporate into your own videos, do whatever you want with, and voila, okay? The other thing we can do with this too is we can come over and we can drop it in our shared space. So if I go and connect to my server and we'll just call it water and uh, I'll just go ahead and keep the defaults. So what it'll do now is it'll actually prepare the 3D model and it puts it up in our shared space. And so let's just go ahead and upload over there already. So let's watch it load. And so right now, there it is. And now you have an interactive model. We're in a browser. We can play through it. And uh, at different stages, we can actually pause. So when our bottles come in here, we can go look at the bottles, rotate around, keep playing through it. We can turn on and off camera angles. We've got all kinds of cool features. We can actually come through and do a whole approval process and um, you keep a whole tracking of history, all that's done here. And for you guys in the audience, if you want to look at this model live, scan that QR code and you'll be able to see this 3D model yourself. So I hope you enjoyed this training video. You get a couple things out of it. Um, if you got any questions, let me know. I'm happy to help. Thank you.